As we celebrate our achievements, we need to be mindful that there are so many challenges on the way. These challenges may be great, but I can assure you, they are not in some mountain. Allow me to invite you, 25 years later, to go to the I hope all of you will be still there around. And the achievements then will be so great. This is the travel industry. The travel industry is so key to us, and to us is so key. The whole way, the social fabric of the entire Ugandan society is affected by tourism. So my plea, tourism is fragile. Anytime you throw a stone, any time you walk to work, any time there is a violence, the industry is timid. And you simply don't know how many people lose. This incident in Katsese, if they were telling you, the travel advisories, people canceling their booking. For those who are in this industry, we don't want here anybody. We have a business of finance who always takes money in fear as noise. What is most of you as a great Job well done, because we are seeing this positive growth. A study was made to identify the challenges and needs some time back. And uh, CAA came up with a 20-year master development plan. The master plan is going to be implemented in consonance with the National Transport Master Plan. The decision to set up the, the, the authority was driven by the country's need to connect with the world again. As a landlocked, a landlocked country, we could ill afford a dilapidated air transport system. The national economy, as we all know, is heavily hinged on tourism, and trade. That's why uh, my colleague is here. Uh, it, it really helps to enhance tourism and trade in the country. And as you all know, the two key subsectors depend on efficient air transport.